a very good day to you. Let's have a look at how to, shall we say, um, remove Active Directory from a Windows server. In this case, we're using 2016, server 2016. Um, the same applies to 2012 as well. Okay, um, very simply, open up Server Manager, which you can do by clicking here. And then it's Server Manager. Okay, and once you get to the dashboard, add roles and features, click start the remove. Okay, next, choose the server that we're removing it from. Just untick the box. Okay, remove features. And then you get this screen. Demote the domain controller first. Okay. Force the removal. Okay. Click next. Proceed with the removal. Click next. Okay. Give the admin password administrator. Okay, you can use something simple like we're using in this demo or in a live environment, obviously minimum of 10 characters with symbols, etc. Okay, um, demote. That view script little button that was there before was a PowerShell script that could have been run. Okay, now basically it has been demoted. Okay, and it's asking to sign out. Okay. After the restart, it still does have Active Directory in there. What we need to do now is basically do the same thing all over again. So it's basically a double uninstall if you think about it like that. Okay, one was demoting it, and the next one is removing the feature okay so there we go remove features click next click next restart always a good idea however as with most servers you have mission critical things running that you don't want to have broken by a restart so that's why the default is not a restart. Okay, remove. Okay, now on a restart, basically it says the feature has been removed. You can close that. Okay, and as you can see in Server Manager, we don't have Active Directory domain services anymore. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped. It was a two stage process. Thank you for watching.